So now let's start with our Q and A. Okay. Where's our Q and A? I don't know where our Q and A is. Oh, by the way, I'm shooting here because I almost just got bit by scorpion in the wilderness. So, yeah. Today's Bernie day. So yeah, um, near death experience. So, the question is from Anna Valerial. She says, "Hello again. I just thought another, another. Hello. Lately, I have been taking." task with emailing the executive director with proposal ideas from the new school year can you briefly review the most aspirational fora if i wanted to send out an email to have these uh, proposal approved or for luck to be on my side when submitting a new proposal same if i wanted to hold a meeting what is a fora so this is a very interesting um, you know uh, concept of fora um where's the question okay there's the question um so here's the thing the first thing you want to understand even though i will talk about hora the first thing to see what good period you're going through dashas look at your dasha maha dasha antra dasha paryantra dasha they are the karmic wheels of you either doing well or not well in a certain situation in a certain place in life that's the first thing well if that's let's say is not possible okay then the most amazing thing you will do is look at the transits the transits become very very important okay meaning the transit especially from the moon if you're trying to plan something not from the ascendant from the moon meaning make your moon chart the ascendant and look where certain planetary placements are so for example um if you look at just the big transit of jupiter and saturn see where jupiter is transiting jupiter especially first fifth ninth and 11th from the moon when transiting during that particular year that becomes a natural force for you to do benefit things and this is part of the hora so before you judge the hora also look at certain things second saturn transiting the 3rd 6th 10th 11th from the moon will be very beneficial now let's say if you don't even deal with this okay let's say you have to send the email right you want to make a meeting happen you want to send in email so you can back get the benefit results and perhaps the saturn and jupiter transit are not in, not in favorable well in that case we can go stretch this luck a little bit further it may not be the most fruit defying situation but it can help your luck push a little bit further so in this case what we do is this some an idiot i'm a fool why am I a fool? Because I forgot to record and put or turn the audio on. This is the second time I'm recording this now. So, when it comes to Hora, okay, keep three things in mind. Okay, there's three simple steps. Dasha, transit, then Hora. Make your life very simple. But I'm going to show you guys something towards the end, which is actually the most important thing. But let's say you want to send a message to your boss. You're going to have to have permission from your 10th Lord, meaning you have to know your ascendant, number one. What is your ascendant? And then look at the 10th house. Whichever planet rules that 10th house, you have to have permission of that planet before you can do things related to career. If you want something favorable to be done. So if your 10th house is ruled by Venus, okay, Let's say you are a Capricorn ascendant. Venus rules your 10th house. That means you have to look at the hour of Venus. Which, which hour is now controlled by Venus? Once you find that out, you send the email during that time period. You, let's say you're a Capricorn ascendant. You are dating or let's say you're liking somebody on some social uh, website or some dating website. You want to message them so you can give that right impression, the right approach. Well, take the permission of the 7th Lord which, for example, Capricorn Ascendant will be Moon. 
So when the hora of the moon, the hour, hora is hour, hour of the moon is operating, you send the message during the time period. Now, let's make it a little bit complicated. Look at the significance of planets. So let's say you're talking, wanting to talk to bosses, who's the significator of authorities? Sun. If you're trying to talk to colleagues, who's the significator of colleagues? Mercury. Who's the significator of significant other and relationships? And love, Venus. So now what you can do is judge who's the stronger one between your seventh Lord and Venus in order for you to send the message. But again, I will say this again. You need the permission of your seventh Lord. So you can do two things. There's something called Hora and Subhora, meaning in one hour period, there will be 15 minute increments of Subhoras operating. When a subhora of your either the significator of that thing or the lord of your uh, particular house that is representing that thing is operating simultaneously, that's the best time period to send that particular message. So you could be running through the hora of your 10th Lord Venus and subhora of the sun. So 10th house and authorities are now right there and you can send the message without worrying about which one is stronger or not. Now, you also want to ask yourself, what is Hora? Well, where does Hora come from? Well, for that, we also have to ask, where do weekdays come from? What is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? How did they come about? Well, the rishis in India, they chose a particular day, I don't know how, but they said today's sunrise, the first hour will be ruled by the sun. And because sun is ruling the first hour today, it'll control the entire day from sunrise to sunrise. And there will be other planet who will come into play in each hour in that 24 hour period. So uh, when it's sun is ruling the first hour, then the, sec the next hour will be controlled by Venus. You'll go skip one day of the weekday and go backwards. So uh, then after Venus will be Mercury, Wednesday. So Mercury will rule the third hour. Then it will be Moon. Then it will be Saturn. Then it will be Jupiter. Then it will be Mars. Then you're going to come back to the to Sun as the eighth hour. Then again, you're going to go back to Venus. And these cycles that continue for like three or four cycles, the next morning when the Sun was rising, that hour was controlled by Moon. So like, well, moon is controlling this first hour, according to this Hora cycle now, it'll control the entire day. And you do this over and over again, and each day was then being controlled by Mer uh, Mars, then Mercury, then th Thursday, Jupiter. So this is the dynamics behind it. Now let's talk about the most important thing. Never underestimate where moon is transiting from the moon itself. Where is moon transiting from itself? So if you're trying to send a message to your bosses, you know your dasha is right. You know that, okay, the uh, even the transit of Jupiter is good and Saturn is good and your hora is perfect. But what about the moon? Because you don't want to do anything important the day moon is transiting your own moon. Moon's nakshatra in your birth chart, when moon is transiting over that moon, you don't want to do anything important. And especially you don't want to send that particular email when moon is transiting 8th from itself, 8th from your moon, or 12th from your moon. This is the most important thing. So you want to do it when moon is transiting 10th from itself or 11th from itself. That's the day you'll get the right result. But especially you want to see where is moon stronger, the 10th house or the 11th house by sign placement? Then you use that day to find the hora. So if you want to do something related to education, do it when moon is transiting either 5th or 9th house, depending upon which one is stronger. You want to take a pilgrimage, go and start from the day when moon is transiting 9th from your moon. You want to talk to your colleagues, use that day when moon is transiting 3rd, from itself or when you want to go out on a date message somebody see when moon is transiting seventh from itself you want to go fight court cases 
See, when moon is transiting sixth from itself, that's when you can face the enemy. This is the most important thing. Never forget this. More than even any other transit, use the transit of the moon from the moon and then judge the Hora. Then at least, even if you don't use the Dashas, you're at least putting yourself in a much better placement. Okay? Um, just wanted to let you know, I am officially now, now that I have kind of completed the rough draft of Walking with Saturn, I'm going to now start raising money for this movie. So whenever you get anything from my academy, which is Magavetic Astrology Academy, anything, even the vlogs, that is contributing towards helping me make this movie, which I, I'm hoping to make it starting December of this year, because I do need snow. I do need the cold weather. But the thing is, I need significant budget because if you want this great movie of Saturn, because it is Saturn, it's going to make me work. It's going to make me do a lot of work for this movie, which it already is. I can see how complicated the script is. Um, I'm going to have to go to Colorado with the crew, with the actors. I will have to go to Arizona with the crew, with the actors. I'll have to get city permits because I have to shoot in certain outdoor locations with people i'll have to get extra like 10 15 extras for certain scenes so it's not going to be cheap i need do you know i need at least minimum like sixty thousand dollars and simply if i'm able to make the movie i'm not looking for profit from these movies i'm putting it on youtube for you guys to watch so yes if you guys can contribute and help out um, i can make this movie for you guys and many more Okay, this is why I actually just got a cinema camera. So whatever budget I had in my academy, I put it towards a cinema camera, cinema lenses, cinema equipments, because I want this movie to really look cinematic. So that's the first thing. And second, I've actually also opened up, um, what do you call, uh, pending karma reading on my website. Um, after literally, after five years of knowing this technique, but after really five years of like literally looking at charts after charts after charts after charts, finally I get the grasp of what this is. So I'm trying to help people out because it will be like a remedy plus a reading of what are the pending karmas. Okay. So thank you very much, guys, for uh, giving me your time here for this Q&A. And again, um, if you are wanting to know where your planet replacements are, what your ascendant is, your 10th house, and all that. For that, check out the links here, karisastrology.com under shop section. You'll find the report. Or you can go to my academy, Maga Vedic Astrology Academy, which is also in this website under courses. And when you join, it will contribute to making this movie of Saturn. And, you know, we're going to send Saturn off with the bang. It's a trilogy. It's part of the entire trilogy. So, got to do it right. All right, guys. Thank you.